Like all mammalian species, the domestic cat begins its development by nursing from its mother. What you may not know are the unique functions behind this behavior and how aspects of it can sometimes continue into adulthood. When a domestic kitten is first born, they are essentially blind and deaf. However, tactile sensitivities develop prior to birth at around 24 days of gestation. By using clues sent from the mother, such as warmth and odor, the kitten is able to use its sense of touch and smell to find the mother's mammary gland in a process called rooting. Once the kitten locates the area of the teat, they will rub their nose up and down its surface. This stimulates the release of the hormones oxytocin and prolactin from the mother's pituitary gland. This will cause milk letdown. As the kitten continues to nurse, they will push in and out with their paws in an alternating fashion. This behavior is called kneading and is performed during nursing to further stimulate the release of milk. Throughout its first weeks of development, a kitten learns to associate this kneading behavior with a calm and satisfying experience. As kittens grow and the weaning process begins, they become responsible for initiating nursing. Throughout the weaning process, kittens learn how to deal with frustration as the mum will periodically reject nursing. Inappropriate weaning prevents kittens from learning and managing these skills and can lead to aggressive and abnormal behaviors later in life. Although nursing behaviors are usually limited to the infantile stage of a cat's life, they can carry over into adulthood. There are various theories attempting to explain why this is. One theory suggests adult cats need because they permanently associate this behavior with the positive reward of their mother's milk. While not always, this theory is often linked to cats in stressful environments as they are believed to be searching for a means of comfort. However, according to Dr. Judy Stella and colleagues from the College of Veterinary Medicine of Ohio State University, domestic cats that were placed in an environment with unpredictable disturbances and inconsistent scheduling showed a significant decrease in needing behavior. Stella argues that needing may sometimes be an expression of a calm mental state rather than a means of calming. While needing in adults is often considered normal, some other adult nursing behaviors are not. One example is called wool sucking. Wool sucking consists of a cat performing a sucking-like behavior on various soft materials. While it may appear as though the cat is sucking on the material, this is not actually the case as the neurons responsible for this action are lost after weaning. Even though this behavior of licking and kneading a soft material may look quite odd, it is not physically dangerous to the cat unless foreign material is ingested. However, the occurrence of this behavior in adulthood suggests other potential concerns. According to Newberry and Swanson from Washington State University, breeding of domestic and production animals often leads to premature or improper weaning. In addition, Newberry and Swanson state that mammalian weaning occurs much more gradually in the wild and mother-young relationships are maintained through social interaction. It is commonly assumed that kittens can be rehomed at eight weeks of age. However, the Canadian Veterinary Medical Association suggests that weaning should occur gradually at around 10 to 12 weeks old. Furthermore, predator and wildlife ecologists Becky Pierce and Vernon Bleck state that some wild feline species can be two to three months old before they are weaned from their mother. It is important for domestic cat breeders and owners to be aware of correct weaning techniques not only to allow for proper feline development, but also to avoid these abnormal nursing behaviors from surfacing later in life. In reality, the continuation of nursing behaviors appears in a variety of different species. If you are concerned about any behavioral stereotypes expressed by your animal friends, do not hesitate to contact your local veterinarian.